Hello and welcome back to my channel, Glory to Jesus, Honor to Mary and Joseph. On November 1st, 1950, Pope Pius XII defined the assumption of Mary to be a dogma of faith. We pronounce, declare, and define it to be a divinely revealed dogma that the Immaculate Mother of God, the Ever Virgin Mary, having completed the course of her earthly life, was assumed body and soul to heavenly glory. The Pope proclaimed this dogma only after a broad consultation of bishops, theologians, and laity. There were a few dissenting voices. What the Pope solemnly declared was already a common belief in the Catholic Church. We find homilies on the Assumption going back to the 60th century. In following centuries, the Eastern Churches held steadily to the doctrine, but some authors in the West were resistant. However, by the 13th century, there was universal agreement. The feast was celebrated under various names commemoration, domitian, passing, assumption from at least the 5th or 60th century. Today, it is celebrated as a solemnity. Scripture does not give an account of Mary's assumption into heaven. Nevertheless, Revelation 12 speaks of a woman who is caught up in the battle between good and evil. Many see this woman as God's people. Since Mary, beats, be, since Mary best embodies the people of both Old and New Testament, her assumption can be seen as an exemplification of the women's victory. Furthermore, in 1 Corinthians 15 20, Paul speaks of Christ's resurrection as the first fruits of those who have fallen asleep. Since Mary is closely associated with all the mysteries of Jesus' life, it is not surprising that the Holy Spirit has led the church to believe in Mary's share in his glorification. So close was she to Jesus on earth, she must be with him body and soul in heaven. Tomorrow is the feast of tomorrow August 15 is the Feast of Assumption. The whole Catholic Church in the whole world celebrates the Feast of Assumption. And it is also a holy day of obligation where you don't go to work. You Tomorrow is, as, is seen as Sunday. So you go to Mass. You meditate on the Assumption of Blessed Virgin Mary. In the evening, you go for benediction in your various parishes. It is seen as a holy day of obligation in the Catholic Church. The same thing as on Sunday Masses. We thank God for the gift of the Blessed Virgin Mary. And we pray that our Mother Mary give us the grace to live a worthy and holy life. She will obtain for us the grace to live a worthy and holy life here on earth so that after our stay, we will also join her and her son Jesus Christ in heaven and see them as they really is, as they really are through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Thank you very much for watching. I love you. Bye-bye.